Welcome to another documentary type video covering Minecraft. Today, I want to discuss the Mandela effects that players have experienced while playing this sandbox. So we're all on the same page. The Mandela effect refers to a large number of people sharing a false memory, originally attributed to the existence of multiple universes. I wouldn't go so far to say it attributed to the existence of multiple universes, but the term was coined after the late former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, passed away in 2013 due to a respiratory infection. The paranormal writer Fiona Broome recalled having memories of Mandela dying during his imprisonment in the 1980s. At a convention, she discussed this memory with someone and it turned out they thought the same thing. She soon discovered multiple people had this false memory and so the Mandela Effect was born. The Mandela Effect has been attributed to multiple situations that had similar circumstances, most notably the Berenstain Bears, which everyone remembered as the Berenstain Bears. Multiple universes, anyone? Now that we have this understanding and some examples, let's move on to what this has to do with Minecraft. The following was posted on r slash Mandela Effect on Reddit. I'm sure you used to be able to craft saddles in Minecraft. I have such vivid memories playing with my siblings, going on pig adventures, and crafting saddles with five leather and two iron. Three leather across the top row, two on the second leaving a space in the middle, and two iron on the bottom row, leaving space in the middle. I revisited the game recently and tried to craft a saddle so I could try to ride a horse. But the recipe wasn't working. It is so weird because after research, it supposedly never had been a feature. I'm scared. If you do a quick Google search, you'll see a lot of variations of this crafting recipe. All of them clickbait, of course. I went further with my research and found myself on Minecraft.net. It turns out, saddles were added surprisingly early in Minecraft's development in June 2010 during the game's in-depth phase, with no mention of any crafting recipe. A notable fact is that horses weren't added for another three years, so everyone was using these to ride pigs. I don't even remember that. Did you also share this false memory? The Protection 5 Enchantment Many people remember that there is a Protection 5 Enchantment but it's not in the game. The deeper I looked into this Protection 5 armor conspiracy, the more instances I found of people swearing that it existed. I found a pretty strong argument that stated some people that post videos on Let's Plays of the game have mods that aren't so obvious, so many would think that it's just what's in the lace version of the game. In my research, I only found one video on the topic and I had to stop myself from going on a wild goose chase, looking through old Let's Plays from a whole nother era. Music discs. Anyways, about a month ago, there was a bit of a debate in my friend group over a supposed feature that used to be in one of the Minecraft versions, most likely console. The feature in question. Half of us said the music disc used to pop out the jukebox automatically when the song finished. The other half of us said it was never a thing. After a bit of back and forth on it, we checked the Minecraft wiki and found absolutely no reference of this being the case on any platform at any point in time. However, the people on the same side of the argument as me vividly remember this being a feature somewhere along the line. Are my friends and I the only ones who remember this once being the case? After some digging, I discovered that jukeboxes were added to Minecraft as early as Alpha 1.0.14. I launched the instance of this version and I couldn't figure out how to play creative mode, so I had to skip to a version of Minecraft that allowed me I figured the first official release of Minecraft would be fair game, so I decided to test the theory. And...
nothing happened. A false memory indeed. Yeah, I don't think there's really a need to explain this one. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Hero Brian. During the early alpha phase of Minecraft, he was first reported in a 2010 4chan post, according to a history on the Minecraft wiki, but went largely unnoticed until a streamer named Copeland shared several images providing the odd character's existence. The most important takeaway from this information is that this happened in early alpha stages of the game. Back when chunk errors and strangely formed terrain was way more constant. A lot of people from this time attributed all these strange block formations to none other than Herobrine. However, this evidence is obviously unfounded. As stated by Minecraft team themselves, Mojang's game relies on procedural generation, which automatically creates environments and objects that are at once random but guided by rules that maintain a consistent logic. But the consistent logic they mentioned didn't exist back then, well at least not to the degree it is now. With these strange block formations, however, a lot of people saw leafless trees, which they saw as a call sign of Herobrine's presence. I did some digging into this and found there's actually no real answer to this phenomenon. So, for all we know, it may be Herobrine. Alright, that about wraps up this video. The concept of false memories really intrigued me. Which is why I had to make something about the Mandela Effect in Minecraft. Because I was just thinking about those two. <laughs> Anyways. Like I said in the last video. <laughs> I typically make comedy stuff. But you guys really liked the last one I made. And I put a lot of passion to it. And I put a lot of passion to this one as well. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As much as I have enjoyed creating it. So once again I will reply to every single comment I receive on this video. So uh, go ahead and shoot me one and see what happens. <laughs> Test me again. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next one. Bye.